All right. Uh, the second portion here is uh, our, of our automation pathways estimation. Uh, we've had this in place for a long time. So if you do not have estimate automation, patient access is losing out on improved accuracy, uh, patient satisfaction, and compliance with the challenging regulatory pressures. Um, you know, within within automation, it, it is it is a complicated process, right? There's a lot built into whatever solution you have out there for creating a patient estimate. Uh, of course, we have lots of factors that play into that. Um, and uh, I'll talk about, you know, accuracy and automation, but we all understand that our, our core audience, you know, back to the previous slide, is a registrar. Um, they're not coders, right? So, so one, one key factor is that, you know, you should be having automation range between 55 and 75 percent, depending again on pair mix and and overall integration quality, that flow of information. Um, and and here's a good example. I, I brought up CPT codes. Um, you know, registrars are not coders. They're not they're not necessarily going to know whether or not they got the right code up front before it gets final coded after discharge, right? So if we're doing a pre-service estimate, even in the ER, they're having to essentially rely on CPT codes that have either been entered in the system or provided maybe by a physician's office or on the order, what have you, right? Um, so it's, it's critical to understand the quality of the CPT codes and how do you improve that ultimately to affect your accuracy. Bottom line is, is that every eligible patient every time should be able to get access to an estimate. We see the pricing transparency laws and regulations coming out. No Surprises Act, I think, certainly was a real hard push uh, for our front-end services, not only to create an accurate estimate and turn that around quickly uh, within 24 hours, uh, but also to communicate with the patient uh, through the patient's choosing of how they communicate, right? So all of that uh, was so, uh, so much of a challenge for all of us to sort of figure out how we're going to get there. Uh, so, you know, essentially that automation will dramatically help your capacity and ability to satisfy those regulatory pressures uh, if, if you've got that full automation. Um, in terms of talking about metrics, accuracy and automation uh, are the two primary, uh, you know, focus uh, uh, metrics for us. And uh, we certainly, uh, you know, take accuracy very seriously. So, you know, what kind of uh, KPIs or metrics do you have you know, where you can you know, take that 835, uh, bump it up against your estimate amounts, and at least have, you know, either a weekly or biweekly cadence of understanding where your accuracy is. Don't, don't forget about having all of that patient detail so that you, you can understand, uh, you know, where your outliers are um, and then what caused it uh, and if there's something differently you can do to avoid that in the future, right? So that's the accuracy metrics are critical. Uh, and then automation metrics this is very similar uh, to, you know, how we manage our um, uh, eligibility. But at the end of the day, I want to understand a rate for automation, uh, you know, how much success are we getting with our automation, uh, and then understanding your rejections. Like, I want the rate, I want the percentage, it's good. I also really want to understand where our opportunity is. Why didn't we get uh, full automation? I, I will tell you up front, uh, interface uh, APIs, um, don't skimp on your integration. The real-time integration, the real-time APIs that you can set up to send that information downstream from your host system, your scheduling application, will go a very long way for what I would consider a short-term pain of integration, right? It'll go a long way down the road for years to come. Uh, so if you're not passing CPT codes down to your estimator, if you're not passing that eligibility, automated eligibility down to your estimator, you're losing out on a ton of opportunity here to help relieve the pressure on the front end staff to not only meet the regulatory you know, guidelines, you know, NSA as an example, but to ensure every patient gets uh, you know, as accurate as we can for estimation. And then don't forget about those shoppers, right? Um, our, our patients um, are, are intelligent, they understand how our, uh, our rules and regulations are getting uh, pushed through. 
Um, they certainly use the websites and they want to know what this is going to cost going in and I don't blame them, right? So the ability to quickly be able to turn around both an eligibility response and then get them a quick estimate without it taking 30 minutes out of a registrar's day. I mean, we've got patients coming in the door. We've got to be able to turn that stuff around quickly. Uh, so estimate automation can also help you build capacity to do those kinds of things uh, to support patients who are interested in service coming in, uh, in the house.